Sammy Combe, this is me, 15 minutes before my first ever show at the Edinburgh Fringe. Voice warmed up, du'as in my heart. Please remember me in your du'as. Here we go, Edinburgh, Bismillah. So, my show opened today, accidentally awesome, and uh, I decided I'd better do something while I'm awake rather than on bed falling asleep, right? So you get to see some of the uh, Edinburgh Festival as well. Beautiful bus bubbles there in the background, mashallah. Kids are out today. It's been, uh, yeah, it's been an amazing opening, by the grace of Allah. Uh, the Muslim community, you know what they really turned out for me today? I'm very grateful. I'd like to give a big shout to uh, the uh, Edinburgh Mosque and uh, the Women's Association because, you know, we talk a lot about the Muslim community and Muslim community, but when we're there for each other, it really feels like there's an ummah. And today I know that a lot of the shows, the show before me had nobody in. So that's, that's when you just have to go on marketing, right? And they're like, good luck with the show. This is called Suicide Wednesday, by the way, <laughs> in terms of how people get crowds. And my show, by the grace of Allah, because the Muslim community wanted to see this as a success for them to expand the work, um, was almost half full. So, you know, it gave me a real boost. So I want to thank Allah for that. And, uh, and thanks to the Edinburgh community. Um, there is a, a bonus, I've noticed, to walking around hijab here. And uh, there's many bonuses, but, but a specific one is you get flyered to death. So people handing out, come and see my show. If you're in hijab and you go, boom. And so you don't, you can just walk around like anonymously and nobody bothers you. So I know, I, I, note to self is be smiley. You know me as a smiley person, right? Alhamdulillah, but sometimes that look in hijab, hijab bonus number one. I think there's going to be more of those. So the crowd here is super friendly. Um, prayed my tahajjud this morning by the grace of Allah. You know when you when you really need to know that something's going to be a success. Whoa! I'm in bubble land. <laughs> uh, then you do your tahajjud, and it's so ridiculous we don't do it every day, right? But uh, I did it last night. Alhamdulillah, I felt great. And uh, just being one of the people who prays, such a blessing. It's such a blessing. And today on stage, I was talking about Gaza. I just burst into tears. I just literally, I could see Gaza in the distance and just really made me cry. <laughs> Look at this wind tunnel hijab. Should I turn the other way? There you go. So that went against the grain. I was really it. It's the show is a lot about Gaza, and it uh, made me cry. And uh, the audience connected with that and remembered the uh, struggles of our people, and um, and uh, all the people who are under under duress, especially in, in Palestine. They're always in my prayers because this uh, show that I'm trying to do is really telling their story. That's the point of it. It's um, connecting people with Tawheed giving uh, opening up a conversation about faith at a place where uh, it's uh, largely not spoken about and um, I've got one thank you lovey cheers oh I see I smiled then I oh, forgot my hijabi tip so yeah getting people to connect with God questions about God uh, in a place where they're not really uh, the entertainment space is pretty yes. void of that unfortunately so uh, it's a real honor to be here uh, I think I'm, I'm now going for a swim because I'm also really, really stiff. I'm walking 11 kilometers a day. There's no way around it. No way around it. I live three and a half, four and a half kilometers away. And uh, so that's the walk there and there and back, plus it's a workout on stage. So alhamdulillah, you know, for all the blessings that Allah gives us. And uh, more from Hijabi Edinburgh vlog tomorrow. Inshallah, follow Salam Media. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.
So this is what it's like before you go into a venue. This is how the glamour of, of theatre at the Fringe. Hi, how are you doing? What's your name? Are you alright? Yeah, nice to see you, Ross. Uh, there are like tiny little venues. So mine's got 106, but opposite here, where Ross has gone in, there's a venue of about 15. It's so cute. And this is Tom. Say hi to Tom. Hello. <laughs> All right, so we've got 44 people booked today. This is a happening thing. Accidentally Muslim, deliberately at the fringe. Salam. This is the sound of the audience leaving. Let's have a listen. Wow, that was really amazing. May I accept it? I am elated. Go and see what they thought. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Hey sisters, uh, my second audience, any thoughts? I loved the show. Wonderful. Felt, uh, absolutely. It just felt like a roller coaster of emotions. Yeah. It's so good. We could relate to all the jokes. Oh, absolutely. Billy Connolly, especially. Oh, yes. Oh, Scottish. Thank you. Scottish. Yeah, yeah, that was good. Good. I bet you never thought it. you'd see Billy Connolly in a hijab. <laughs> absolutely not. No. No. Just, we're just really glad we came. Thank you. Thanks very much. Thanks so much for coming. And do tell everybody in Glasgow about we it. We will. Obviously, my show is not about making you Muslim, but look at Ellie, look what happened just this afternoon. She was not in a scarf and no more. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> I'm on the floor of the mosque. Oh my God, is that, what is that? Ooh, I'm on the floor of the mosque because I'm so tired. And there's nowhere to sleep in the city centre and it's an hour's walk home. I know what there's a show I want to see later. So this is um, me sleeping on the floor of the mosque. I've slept on mosque floors around the world and I get the best sleeps there. It's lovely where people pray. I really, really enjoy it. Alhamdulillah, mashallah. And um, yeah, so I'm really tired today. Anybody who says art is easy, it's not true. You have to put everything, 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 everything into it. And I'm enjoying it. Yeah, we're getting good crowds. It's about 40 a day. 40 people a day coming. Um, some of them are even paying. Um, lots and lots of pe lovely people giving good reviews. And, um, you know, I'm just delighted by the grace of Allah that Al Fatiha is being read on stage at the fringe. Yay! And I've stayed true to my ideals. So far, so good. Um, being me, but Muslim me. Practicing Muslim me. I think practicing faith. And then put it, it being in front of people is not easy because nobody gets it. They're, they're like, why are you like that? Why aren't you like this? It's what I'm, it's hard being outside the mainstream, isn't it? But yeah, I think I'm just really having a big adjustment. And I get what kind of Canadian teenagers and high school students in America go through and, uh, you know, secondary school kids in North London, you're you're doing it. You're amazing. I mean, just how do you stand out every day? I, honestly, wallahi, may Allah give us the strength, because it is it's not easy out here. Because the values, some of the values, like on the sexual behaviour, on the alcohol, um, that they're, they're so different, and and if you don't go with them, you're just seen as weird. So I'm really, that's really interesting. I've been to see uh, now two Muslim comedians and three two women and one Muslim comedian here um, by Muslim they're not advertising I'm a Muslim comedian but they have Muslim names so I've been to see them and I wanted to promote them but I can't because they just talk about sex in really really crude ways and, and I just wonder do, do you feel you have to do that because they, the actual Two of them at least had some good content in their shows. Honestly, they were pretty good, interesting stories. Good premise, not bad, well carried out. Good character, interesting characters. But then it just goes like down this really predictable cesspit of sex talk. And, um, you know, so you just end up going and wishing we weren't there. Mm, I guess, yeah. It's like, it really is that faith does not go outside the mosque these days I think that's it if you're in a if you're in a mainstream workplace leave your faith outside if you're 
in the school, university, college, don't talk about it, don't be different, just go along for the ride, just say yes, maybe go off and do your own things. But it's like, it is really, really difficult, isn't it, entering the conversation. But that's what I'm finding. So I'm a bit tired, so I'm going to have a nap. Short one today. And, oh yeah, aggressive guy came up to me after the show. We had to report him. It's day two of Islamophobia. Islamophobic attacks, not attacks like violence, but pressure, uh, bullying uh, going on outside my show. Well, as my mum always said, you're big enough and ugly enough to look after yourself. Actually, I have Allah, alhamdulillah. Right now, right here, I'm feeling schizophrenic. Um, everything, all the madness here is so familiar to my old life and my old self. So there's a kind of nostalgia that kicks in and then there's this real uh, kind of difficulty with it because it's uncomfortable. Because everybody's wearing as little as possible and doing weird stuff and some people are high and some people are drunk and some people are about to get drunk and, and I'm not comfortable with that. So yeah, I feel really schizophrenic at the moment. It's like, um, that pull of the lower self, you know. So uh, yeah, may Allah, may Allah protect me, and uh, all the Muslims who uh, come to try and share our stories. And there's a few here, alhamdulillah, and uh, the Muslims who are coming to the festival for the first time as well. Allah protect us, Sami. So right now, I feel like crying. Um, I'm just uh, going to get a lift home. I made a mistake. I went to see uh, a female Asian comedian and the stuff was disgusting. And it was just sex jokes and drug jokes and, you know, my English manners overrode my Islamic sensibilities. And so I sat there out of politeness and now I'm sick. And now I'm literally sick. I can't, my throat has seized up. I just feel every, I just feel like I need a shower and I feel horrible and it's still hijab. And I'm only sending this out because it's ridiculous. Look at the building instead. Look at the nice building. <coughs> okay. Maybe, um, maybe, I don't know. Maybe this is just a middle-aged lady who is really, really tired. I'm gonna put it down to that, but all I can say is, you know, when you step into somewhere and you go into a zone and it, and it feels wrong, get out of it. Allah gives us these sensibilities for a reason. And I said, this is gonna be testing. And there are places to go and not to go. And there are good places in cities and there are bad places. And don't sit through that stuff because once you get desensitized, you can't tell the difference anymore. And I thank Allah. Yeah, how can I say that I'm trying to do something for the sake of Allah and then sit through that? So I have to make Toba and um, I have to um, cleanse, cleanse myself and, um, and just ask Allah to forgive me. And um, because it's horrible, because I sat there as a hijabi, as men were laughing at jokes about women in burqas and women were being sent up and it was just I felt this coldness come over me and it was horrific really horrible experience what is the lesson from this that if you go that if you go if you live in that environment you can become desensitized that the holy quran allah to allah tells us um, and their their deeds will seem uh, good to them they'll seem normal to them they'll seem um, good to them so the, the wickedness will seem good that you that you just cut off from it and I I don't want to be I don't I ask Allah that we're not cut off from that so have a good evening I hope that I'm well enough to do my show tomorrow inshallah I will be a little bit of self-care <laughs>